Hey Virgos, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you all had a lovely holiday four day weekend. Uh, yeah, so we're going to take a look at your weekly reading. Uh, we're going to look from the time you're listening to this, which, um, <clears throat> well, we'll just say September 5th through the 10th. Um, and yeah, um, if you guys have a birthday, today and going forward i wish you all a very happy birthday and uh, if you're new please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy this reading this will be for virgo sun moon rising or venus and as always some messages may or may not resonate take what fits leave the rest and the personal reading link is in the description box below the video all right virgo so let's get started and see what the week has whoa for you major jumper wow okay so you have the star so definitely an energy of being either in the spotlight or healing a situation um faith renewal so this is something positive let me pull a clarifying card to see what the message is okay wow there's definitely a new beginning here um for you for some of you, uh, starting a new creative project that's connected to some type of healing modality, okay? Um, whether that is something to do with your faith or getting into astrology, um, creating something new. For some of you, healing also, I'm feeling like being able to walk better or walk again for some of you and hold on let me see I, I do f i'm picking up like strong creative vibes as well and i see um you're gonna rise in some if you have like a business are you doing some type of creative project maybe you're in acting or in working in entertainment i see you rising like there's a new perhaps a new um project you're starting or some kind of new beginning here that's happening this week that could possibly make you famous or give you some type of celebrity or to be known for something that you're doing um okay wow yeah you're gonna be like financially stable this week that's for sure definitely an energy of feeling like <laughs> if you're stressed about something virgo um or you're having a hard time sleeping at night they're also saying maybe look into some type of alternative medicine or some non-narcotic type of medicine as well maybe some lavender on the pillow maybe a melatonin something along those lines okay yeah there's definitely some um struggle with sleep i feel some anxiety um hmm, that moon looks like a gigantic pill of some sort so i do feel like something to help you sleep okay something to help you sleep could be listening to uh, music but this feels i don't you might be having like some dreams for sure this week wait we had that full moon in pisces but that's over with okay so there's a residual left as well um it's interesting how you have the stars and the moon some of you might be stressing about your your money our finances this week as well like how are you going to get your bills paid or how can you make some extra money i do feel that kind of thing is keeping you up at night but you you really need to just kind of not let that bother you at night as best as you can to try to get as much sleep as you can um, because when you wake up that problem will still be there and you can solve it when you're in um you're better able to solve it when you have a really good night's sleep okay um <laughs> and I do see a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn here could be offering you some type of a position that might, um, it's good, it's a good positive position or career or new project or there's a new start this week that <laughs> Virgo, you might be stressing about it even so much like, I don't, I'm not so sure why, I feel like there's a lot 
this is going to be huge. This opportunity that's coming in this week will be huge. And I feel like it might bring you, I mean, it's a positive thing, but I feel like it might be hard for you to believe or accept that this is even happening. You know what I mean? Like there's this, oh my gosh, what if, what if, what if. We have also, again, we have Pisces and there's Aquarius energy here. Oh, wow. Okay, you've got the magician. Oh, gosh, Virgo. This definitely feels something to do with perf being a performer of some sort. Somebody might, okay. Uh, you might, I see you being in front of people. So if you have like, uh, there's just like an audience or some fans. It, it feels like it might not be, like you might be doubting yourself or like, so you, you know, whether it's fans or an audience or you have a speaking position or something along those lines where you have to give uh, some dissertation, could be something to do in school um, or something to do with your career, some type of new thing. Uh, you're writing a paper or you're in acting and, and you have to perform like live like on a stage, a live stage where there's people, like at night, <laughs> you're stressed and you got to get some sleep, Virgo. I feel like you need to get some sleep this week or the particular night that this hits, you know, to the, to the, what's the word they're telling me? They're giving me apex, the word apex or the climax, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, you might have like just some difficulty with that okay because there's definitely a new start happening this week now as far as love goes um there is someone who i do see showing up this week again who has that earth element somewhere in their chart and um i see this person stressing about making a new having trying to have a new beginning or a new start with you to try to kind of heal something with you and this person they have a lot of money or they they are attached to a lot of money or they own a business Th this is someone who comes across to me who is um like very they dress very well you know they have expensive things um maybe a material girl or material guy and i feel like this person they have all these ideas and plans and and they they like there's they want to make an offer to you all right let me just see give me a little clarification on the star wow wheel of fortune like bring about some major change you definitely have a huge energy shift happening this week virgo oh my gosh good you have like this is a lucky week for you like on all fronts i feel like in love and i feel like in your career even in your health as well like major improvements two aces the worst card seriously is the nine of swords the moon isn't necessarily a bad card um it can be filled with illusions and deception and things not not a lot of clarity but there is definitely like a whole new beginning happening here for you in love as well like a blessing so the eight of cups is here i feel like there is someone here who feels like you've abandoned them or walked out of a relationship or you're done with something um and this is really causing a lot of anxiety for this person um So if you have a connection with someone that has Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, specifically somewhere, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, I'm picking up really strong vibes that this person wants to have a new beginning with you. Okay? If, and they um, are coming back. So I feel like this is somebody that you, you may know. Okay, and they're coming back around here. What other messages? So you're coming into like a, a good bit of um, a small fortune here. Some of you are going to get 
published, a book published, or some writings published, or the opportunity for that to happen if you start writing is going to happen, okay? Um, so if that's something you've been thinking about, Spirit is saying do it. If you've been stressing about this writing, memoirs, or an autobiography, or a biography, or if you do interviews, or write for other people, or write kind of maybe stories, fiction, nonfiction, any kind of writing, I feel like it's going to get picked up. And Spirit is saying um, to go for it. Even if you don't intend for it to get picked up, you're just doing it for yourself. You have a message and a story. And I feel like with this Wheel of Fortune, the message here, look at all those books there. The message here, it's going to be, you're going to get paid very well. And that does feel like why that star energy is there. So you, you will be, um, whether you want it published or not, it's going to get noticed. Okay, it's going to get noticed. Anything that you have, you're putting in writing, and you will be paid well for it. Okay, now let me see. Also, I'm I'm picking up. Um, they're telling me a house that caught fire um, is salvageable, or something that someone may have lost in a house fire will be found so it could be a keepsake or memory or something um, will be found it's there okay um, I'm also hearing be careful with fireworks somebody needs to be careful with lighting fireworks I'm also picking up someone is having neck trouble or neck pain and it feels like it feels like nerve or spasm. So um, they're saying, um, and it's something maybe the way somebody sleeps or it's just an ongoing thing. And there may need to be a surgery that it could be happening to you or another person. Um, there's fear about that because there's like an unknown element to it. Well, what if it doesn't work out? all of that um, I feel like there's a really good doctor that will appear this week for you as far as being able to help you with that a strong message like they have the magic pill <laughs> or something to help you pro before going down a surgical route or some kind of like I want to say something that hasn't really been done before um, they have the, like the elixir to help you with that. Okay, definitely. So it, like everything looks so, like all, so far it looks great. Like this week looks very promising. Let me see what else is going on here. Oh, some of you need to stop watching those serial killer um, movies or documentaries. Like just take a break. <laughs> take a break because I feel like um, you're going to start getting paranoid and they'll start stressing you out. I know Virgos can watch them, and I mean, like, I can, like, I take breaks from them personally. Like, I don't need to be told to do that, but I feel like one of you might be watching them a lot, or just getting, it's infiltrating your dreams, so be careful <laughs> with that, because you might be getting a little bit, like, side-eyeing, like, your dog, even at this point, or your cat, like, what are you, what are you talking about? What are you up to? You know, <laughs> like, all right, it's time to chill a little bit show a little bit on those okay let me see what else is going on this week all right so there's definitely some positive news somebody's sending a message to you this week oh wow now you've got a third ace virgo so someone's bringing you some truth and clarity this week okay for some of you there's a child a fire sign child in your life um, who is going to make a breakthrough now, it doesn't matter what age. They're just birth to 18. They'll be making a breakthrough. Okay, fire sign child typically is Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, yeah, so huge breakthrough this week. Phenomenal. Overcoming some obstacles that they've been dealing with. And... Um, 
some conflicts. Like I'm hearing something to do with like mental clarity. They get some type of me have me some mental success with something like a major breakthrough happens and it's the start of something amazing. Okay, let me see. All right. So some of you are definitely going to be receiving a message from someone over the internet this week. Uh, some truth is going to come out and I feel like this is going to come from afar from someone. Um, let me see if I can get more clarity on that. It may have something to do with travel or completing a task. Okay. We definitely have fire sign vibes also playing out this week so queen of wands okay so there is a queen of wands this week you'll be hearing from her about some also about also from a child but also about some kind of major breakthrough or something to do with surgery that either she tells you about or you tell her about and it could have some type some energy where maybe there's a surgeon from far away and you got to travel a little bit um but there's success involved with this so it's either about traveling far away or um it's to do with um uh, just her reaching out to you whether that's on the phone or on the internet or something along those lines okay so expect some positive news either to find out and give to her or she finds out and gives to you Okay, there's also um, a female who's going to be coming to assist with a child as well. Let's see, what else? Um, there's also, you're going to find out that there's a female who is going to uh, either reach out to you or you're going to get word that she is relocating and possibly with a child also. Okay, some some new idea of some sort okay could be a discussion um or she's telling you and then there's some kind of discussion let's see what else is going on for you okay so you've got the sun wow you've got some serious love messages coming to you this week as well and there's so much fire energy already um could be from a leo for some of you um Hmm. Somebody wants to tie the knot with you legally. Or there is an energy of tying the knot with someone legally this week. Um, I do feel like these messages are coming towards you. And it could be from a Libra as well. But there's definitely some truth coming out about a, a either a divorce or um, a separation or an argument where a decision is getting made here to either not go forward with the divorce um, or to actually try to t work things out bring everything out into the open and bring some truth out have a win-win si situation in regards to an argument or a breakup or some type of um uh, if you're in separation with someone, okay? I feel like it's a really, like it's not just love messages, but it does feel like a real strong energy of someone bringing some truth, like where it can be verified in front of a judge. <laughs> I don't really know what that means, but it's about the re a relationship. It's about a partnership. Um, for some of you, this is someone saying, I'm not following through with the courts um, or I'm not going to take you to court. It's a little bit of, um, let's work it out ourselves. Let's get a mediator. Let's talk about things. Um, let's, I see someone in a crossroad here, um, who's been doing a lot of thinking and wants to try to settle a matter this week. Okay. You're also going to be receiving some love messages and, or an apology from a water sign female okay uh, cancer scorpio pisces or it could just be a male in very feminine energy whoa the hierophant taurus energy somebody wants to work on a relationship and um 
turn something into a long-term committed relationship, like really put in the effort and the energy to do this, to have, um, I'm feeling apologies, but I'm also feeling new, new love as well for some of you where there's someone you might connect with at work, a water sign connecting at work whom um, this person is very spiritual. They could be very religious as well. Um, or they have a religious background of some sort, but I feel like this person doesn't normally open up their feelings, but I feel like you are going to receive either a text or a call or hear something from this person um, this week. You may also hear from about uh, from someone about them working on their marriage or working on a marriage. Okay, you have the high priestess. Look at all this fire energy. I can't even believe it. Um, there is a king of wands, Sagittarius Leo Aries, who has a secret thing for you. Yeah, they're keeping that secret. They might be a friend of yours, or it's someone who is um, that you're just connecting with. Could be new, or someone that you don't connect with but you know um yeah they're they're keeping this person knows like they secretly know that you two are meant for each other so i'm not sure why they're keeping it a secret maybe because you're friends um uh, maybe because they have someone um they think that you are uh, just amazing. Like they see you with this Empress energy. They might see you as someone who's very intuitive and spiritual. They, like, I'm not kidding. This person, they're keeping it to themselves. They might have a significant other. It could be a Libra or a Taurus. Okay. Um, they might have someone else pregnant. If this is a male or masculine, I should say. Okay, that's an interesting message. What else is the secret? Yeah, so, okay, <laughs> they don't, like, I hate to say this because it feels yucky. If this person has another person that they're having a child with, they don't want that child, they, or they do, but they view that person that they're with as a friend, um, like, they don't have the romantic feelings, maybe a little, but they view that person either wants to have a child or be a mother to their kids apart from whatever they're doing i don't know they have their back turned to this person they're secretly like they're looking at you um that's the virgo card that you are they see you as being very stable uh, very attractive um very good at communicating you're like a messenger of some sort um you're able to tame wild animals <laughs> um looking just like you're enjoying your single life i don't think this person is jealous of you but i do feel like they've they have their eye on you this week real strong i wonder if they're going to say anything or what they're going to do about this if they're going to say anything to you um like they view they think that you're single or they're questioning or wondering if you are like if you're in a relationship or if you're not. Um, they're also saying that they have um, an ex that they have children with, that they are simply friends with, and there's nothing else to it, I'm hearing. Or they just want to be friends with this either person that they're with or, uh, or it is just a friend. Let me see. Are they going to come out with anything or say anything? So I feel like they're waiting for the right time to communicate with you. Um, yeah, they're waiting for, I don't know what that means, but they're definitely like looking to a future with you. Okay. 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 Oh, no. There you go. Yeah, because they're going to propose of some sort. Proposal doesn't always mean marriage. It can, but it can also mean propose, um, a rom make a romantic offer to you. Yes, they are. They're just waiting for the right time. And um, 
for some of you this might be I just heard the 9th of September which is like this is it this it's this week um, but it, they are saying that in the spring you'll be with this person I know this is the week but they're just telling me in the spring of 2024 you and this person will be a, a like a completed union like that this is your future person i'm hearing so i don't know if you know them or know of them or this is someone it could be new could be that you connect with that you meet through an an older woman might connect you to this person if you don't know them could also be um they're saying uh, someone's mother that is now in the angelic form who is bringing you two together or has brought you two together really strong vibes but i this person is like in love with you like they they just think that you are soulmates perfect for each other like a good match masculine or feminine okay uh, let me just get your next overall message for this week. There goes. Oh, wow. You've got the emperor. Okay. So your overall message this week, Virgo, is to take the reins. Be your own boss. <laughs> spend your... Um, so they just... Okay. So they're just saying, well, spend your time um, doing the things that you... Um, it's about independence and leadership, okay? So take the lead this week. And they also said, as best as you can this week, be on good terms with everyone you meet. No matter what other people say or do, just be on good terms outwardly towards everyone you meet. Calm, peaceful, diplomatic type energy towards every person. And anybody who's like rude, just like don't respond, just kind of be like okay I'll, I'll see you later uh, i'm just hearing stay calm this week you have a lot of energies playing out let me see what else is coming up for you this week as well what other messages virgo needs to know oh my gosh yeah see you've got new love a new or recommitment to love is developing this week could be from one or two people one past one new Okay, and they're saying put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Oh, sh 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 you got a twin flame. So you've got, and let me just tell you, you're either connecting with a new person who's your actual twin flame. Um, and there could be a reconnection with someone who's not. Or you've got a new love coming in and your twin flame is trying to reconnect with you okay so you do have like a couple of different energies <laughs> playing out this week virgo and of course that's you know everything always happens on a tuesday afternoon when you're not at least expecting it wow you've got fate this is a destined partnership virgo okay let's see what else okay balance one person giving too much in this relationship pay attention to that this week you also have spiritual lesson the person there's a person in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson there's also awakening someone's undergoing a spiritual transformation wow it, that could be you virgo could be somebody else let me see what else you have here okay oh shit you've got twin flame wait let me make sure i moved my camera different so hopefully you guys are able to see this right you've got twin flames the yin and the yang zen balance union duality coupling complementing each other oh some of you like what that's twice that is twice virgo you've also got photographs so someone here is looking at your photos this week and they are missing you very nostalgic somebody wants to make new memories with you and the chaser so you're definitely going to be feeling someone chasing after you due to fear of abandonment 
Um, somebody's going to be knocking on that door, Virgo. Or ringing up that... Somebody has a um, knock ringtone. Knock, knock, knock ringtone that they, like, use. Yeah, a couple of options here. Many options, actually. Keys on a ring. Um, this may be a decision also for you, Virgo, about uh, choosing a place to live as well. Um, well that, that's the energy I'm picking up from that. Being given, given quite a few keys to different places, like symbolically, for you to choose. If you're looking for a place to live, there's, yeah, there's, there's, so, there's some kind of separation with someone. And I do feel like this, whoever your person is that you are in separation with, this person is missing you. They are thinking about you. Super sad that you guys are not connecting. Um, they are unsure of the future. They don't know what's going on. They don't know. They're like left out in the dark. And I feel like this person is, it makes it like they're yearning for you. Strongly yearning for you. And that's, you know, if you say, well, who is it? Well, it's the one you're in separation from. If you don't know who it is, then it's not for you. Okay. So let's try a few different other messages. See what else you need to know, Virgo. Oh, real quick, just like that. You've got the self card. Take a look at yourself. Add up the pros and cons of everything about you. Balance things out. Don't look at just only the negative or like just try to balance things out for an objective view reconcile yourself to accepting you just as you are as well as those in your heart acceptance is key don't beat yourself up uh be at peace like i said live and let live <clears throat> this week um be at peace with everyone you come in contact with try your best to be on good terms <clears throat> If you feel like fighting or being defensive or, you know, standing up for yourself, um, pick and choose your battles. I feel like this week is best for you um, to, you'll be more popular. <laughs> you'll be more liked if you stay on good terms with everyone. Um, so whether that's something going on at your work, um, try to just lay low this week. I feel that's advice for you. Or if there's a family issue, just yes, everybody to death. Keep a low profile, right? It doesn't mean that you, sometimes that is a way of de self-defense. Um, that's a way of protecting yourself. That's a way of standing up for yourself by not engaging, you know. Um, and I don't know what's going on, but I feel like that's a heavy, strong advice for you this week up and through Sunday to just kind of be a good peak, be on good terms. Let's see. What else does Virgo need to know? <coughs> okay. Lustful, fiery spirit showing up this week. Okay, let's see. And you also have a financial decision. And that's in regard to someone that you um that there's some kind of an argument or you're in separation with yeah i feel like this week um you'll need to make some kind of financial decision whether that's work or divvying up some assets or something you're in partnership with you also have try to do it peacefully you know the peace card this is basically the hanged man okay well it's also temperance so this is about balance and harmony and the influence of balance and harmony are over you. Leave things be and allow spirit to handle the tough stuff. Okay? All good things are happening behind the scenes. Trust that God is working in your life. Even when you feel discouraged, be patient and trust his timing. Trust the process. Okay, Virgo. So let's get it. Let's see a couple of initials and names. Um Okay, somebody's going to be going to the Taj Mahal. We have the letter J. <coughs> we have the letter A and the letter T. Um, September 12th. Okay, we have a 40th birthday. We have someone, um, a 34th. 34, age 34, age 40, age 56, age 73. Okay, initial Y, initial K. We have a T again. 
uh, somebody's birthday, September 11th. Um, we have 1977, 1942, or someone's 42. Um, someone is 32, 1957, or the age 57. If someone's here who was born in 1932, I want to give you some kudos. <laughs> Whoa, because that would make you like, what, in your 80s, 90s? Jeez, let's see some signs here. All right, Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, and Taurus showing up very strongly. Aries again, Capricorn, Virgo, double Capricorn. Wow, Virgo. All right, let's get a charm. Oh, wow, this is crazy. So you have a bone. <laughs> okay, I have a little story to tell you about a bone. Um, actually, it's not a bone, it's a bunch of bones. Oh, I just heard that saying. I will swim like a mermaid through the dirt just to sleep next to your bones. <laughs> um, so there's an animal that keeps leaving chicken bones on top of my trash can lid. And I do not know why. First of all, I don't know what animal does that. I have not eaten. I don't eat chicken with bones. Like unless I grab a rotisserie, but I haven't. It's been the past two days. Just like that hummingbird that keeps hovering around me. Uh, there's an animal leaving me little bone gifts. Okay, um, so I kind of take that too when I see this bone as um, there's. A, it's like a gift, but I, I hope nobody leaves anybody bones bone gifts because that's creepy. Um, <laughs> Honestly, like I sh probably should have, I, I was going to look it up, but if I didn't get this bone here, um, now I want to know what exactly, a s is there a spiritual message to a bone? Um, for some of you, there is like a remembrance of your dog that are your, you know how dogs bury bones is remembrance of your pet this week as well. Um, but animals will tend to leave little gifts around because that's what they think you would like. I personally do not gnaw on bones, <laughs> skeleton bones. But yeah, there's a gift being left for you this week, especially like I hope you don't get a bone, but whatever. There's a gift being left for you for your if you have a birthday this week, I'm here to tell you. You will you will receive gifts. They will either be spiritual gifts or someone will actually give you a gift this week, okay? All right, let me say. So you also have, um, you have a fish. You have a fish and you have a pair of glasses. Okay, so some of you, maybe you're going to find out you need glasses this week. Are you actually going to get glasses this week? Um, these are not sunglasses. These feel like eyeglasses to me because they're clear. Okay, Virgo, so I, I feel like you might get diagnosed with something where you're going to need glasses. And you also have like a fish here, a spotted fish. Okay, so maybe there's a connection to a Pisces. Um, or you have Pisces rising or moon, Venus. There's an energy here. Um, oh, yeah, they just said there's a Pisces who's got their eye on you this week. They're watching you. So Pisces watching you. And some of you are just eating better. I feel like maybe you had fish or you're eating a lot more fish. Or if you're not, I'm hearing definitely eat more fish this week. It would be really good for your health. Just make sure it's not farm-raised fish, that it's fresh-caught fish. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Very Oh, and, uh, and they're also saying um, take, start taking fish oil tablets or fish oil capsules, not tablets, capsules. Um, for your omega-3. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave that there. I hope you enjoyed that. And I will be back um, tomorrow with your follow-up reading. So again, if you want to donate to my child rescue funds, please do. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, you can go to the link there and purchase a cup of coffee for me. And to those of you who have been doing that, thank you so much. I'm tremendously grateful. And um, yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, September, the month of September, 
is heavily discounted, $99 for a 30-minute phone call reading. So definitely hop on that if you want to book a sesh with me. And we have a nice phone call and anything you want to ask me, we get right into your reading. There's also one hour and two hour phone readings available also there. And there's also just, if you want to just spill the tea and not do tarot, and that's even less expensive, you just call, we, we talk on the phone. If you just want to tell me your secrets or, you know, talk about things, everything is private and you just want to get something off your chest, you can even utilize that service as well. All right, you guys, so have a great week going forward. I will be back here tomorrow, 10.30 p.m. Eastern, with your follow-up reading. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to join my OnlyFans as well. Uh, everything's in the link. All right, you guys, take care. Mm -hmm.